I have a confession to make. I love Microsoft Bob. Now, I understand that a lot of people would strongly disagree with me, so let me put this into context. Around the time that Bob came out, my family owned an Acer computer that came pre-installed with the Ace desktop. I couldn't find any pictures of it online, but if you want to talk about bad Windows shells, you should check that out. Anyways, because it was so bad, when my mom got Microsoft Bob, I thought it was awesome. Also keep in mind that I was around 10 at this time. Bob was very different, and that difference is one of the things that made me love it. From the very start, you see a large red door, like something that would belong on a mansion. You knock on the door, and a friendly dog greets you, asking for the super secret password. And then you walk inside. One of the big reasons I like Bob is not just because it's designed like a home, but it looks like the kind of home that I would love to live in. This right here is the postmodern family room, and I love the design especially with all the windows with the background of the city. It looks cool and cozy all at the same time. In Microsoft Bob, you have different objects that represent programs. For example, this right here is the letter writer program. Unfortunately, my setup of Bob here isn't exactly correct, so trying to run any of these programs will crash Bob. <coughs> then over here, you have the calendar, and over here is an educational program. And this is a pedestal. Things like this are purely for decoration, which can let you make your home just the way you want it. If you go to the main menu, you can see that you can select several other decoration items. For example, I was making this video in December, so let's make our home more festive. You can move and resize it however you want. Let's just put this right here. Yeah, that looks good. This, of course, is not the only room in the home. And you can see that there are two doors in here. Let's go in here, which will take us to the sunroom. As you can also tell, there are several sound effects. Personally, I like them. I really like the sound of the door closing behind you when you enter another. It helps make you feel like you're actually inside a home. This is one of my favorite rooms. Just look at it! A room with a nice large window to view the big glowing city outside. Now I know these graphics might not be very impressive today, but back in 1995, I thought it was grand. As previously mentioned, there are several applications that came with Bob that you can use. However, you can also bring in any other application that's on your computer. For example, let's bring in this game, Little Inferno. Just sit it right there. Now you can just click on it and run it. But this video isn't about little and for so let's go back. Let's check out some of the other rooms. And here you have the study. Now as you've noticed, Microsoft Bob comes with your own personal guide through the home. They can even give you totally random info. 
Ah, here's an important tip. Before entering Muslim mosques and Buddhist temples, you must always remove your shoes. Do not forget. Um, thanks. Oh, and this cat is French for some reason. But if you don't like cats with French accents, you can always choose someone else as your guide. Yo, yo, yo! Hey! Look! I, however, am a cat person, so I'm going to stick with her. These menus do get a bit messed up at times, but that's just because of this specific installation. Bob was designed for Windows 3.1 on a 16-bit machine, not Windows 7 on a 32-bit machine. And I can't even get it to run at all on my 64-bit desktop. This is another room I really like. The kids' room. This room always looks so much more fun. You've got toys, a table shaped like a puzzle piece, a ladder, this nifty airplane, and these windows of the city. <coughs> Another room you can enter is the safe. It's kind of cool. Another interesting thing you can add is this balloon. It's completely pointless. But hey, it's a balloon! And look, you can even have a pet fish! <coughs> and over here you have an attic. It's an attic. I suppose you can store software here that you don't usually access.
And here's another favorite of mine, the kitchen. I would love to have a kitchen that looks like this. I think it looks awesome. There's also the garage, although it doesn't make quite as much sense with that city background. But of course this isn't the only style of a home you can have. For instance, there's the contemporary theme. This right here is the room that more people would probably remember, as it's usually the default room and setting. This is also a nice theme. Very relaxing. One final thing I wanted to note is that there was later a Gateway 2000 version of Bob, which added a few more themes, like this spaceship one. This isn't the version I had growing up, so it's not as nostalgic for me. So, Microsoft Bob, a Windows shell that was unique for its time and still is today. I must admit, given the option, I probably wouldn't actually use it today. It's not the most practical thing compared to modern OS's, but what it lacks in practicality, it makes up for in charm. For me, it will always be something fondly remembered. But alas, it's in the past, and I no longer have the computer that was able to even run this. So for now, I'll have to say goodbye, Bob. Goodbye.